All right, so the next code we're going to be looking at is called 2421 BCD. All right, now when you look at this code, it's the same as, it's a BCD code firstly. So that means that there are only 10 counts for it. So from 0 to 9, we're going to convert each of these digits into 2421. And if you look at the code, you're going to think, oh, there's a problem because there's two twos. You see that? So when do we use this two and when do we use this two? And there's a rule to it. All right. So the rule is that any number that is greater than four, we have to use this two. So from zero to, uh, if you look here from zero to four, we don't use that two. So you can see everything is the same. So how do we make up zero? We don't use any of them. How do we make up one? We only use the one. How do we make up two? We only use the first two. How do we make up three? We only use the two plus the one. And how do we make up four? We only use the four. So you can see everything is the same, just like in 8421. But once you go past four, you have to, you're constrained to use the four, the two, sorry. You have to use that two. So to make it easy, what you do is all numbers from 5 to 9, you can just do this. You can put 1 in there in the beginning. And then you realize that you have to, you've, you've already used that 2. So therefore, you only have the rest of the numbers to deal with. So for example, 5 now, you've already used the 2. So that means I can't use the 4 anymore. I have to use the other 2 and the other 1. So we would write it down. Um, zero one one see that and for the six we've already used that two so we can only use um, two plus four now we can't use that two plus that four because we've already used this two so then it'll be one zero zero and then for the seven we've already used that two so we can say two plus four is six plus the one so then our number will be one zero one and for 8, we've already used that 2. So we can say 2 plus 4 plus 2. So we get that. And then for 9, we can use all of them. Okay. So it's fine to use them both together. But for numbers that are above 4, so 5 to 9, you have to first use that 2. And then you can use the other digits. And then I want to show you something else very interesting. You see these arrows I've put here. This code is what we call a self-complementing code. So if you look at the top number uh, for zero, it's one, oh, sorry, it's zero, 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 zero. And if you go down, you follow down here to the bottom, it's one, 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 one. All right, and the next code for, for number one, it's zero, 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 one. And if we go down here, it's one, 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 zero. So it's almost like a mirror. And all the way into the middle, you'll see here four and five, it's zero, one, zero, zero, and then five is one, zero, one, one. So what you can actually do is when you write down this code and you convert each one, afterwards you're able to check because if, for example, this one and this one is not a complement of each other, then you know there's something wrong. All right, so now... Let's quickly go to a problem because this is how it'll be asked you in um, in a test. So here I've got a number and it's 263,48 again. And then we're going to convert it. So let's see, 2. Okay. That number is below 5. All right. So therefore, we can only use the first 3. So we're going to use that 2. All right. So that's going to be zero uh, zero one zero all right and six so it says here for numbers greater than four so six is definitely greater than four so we have to use this two first so you can tick that one off and then you can use the rest of the numbers so we can use the four and we leave the two and the one behind so we can write one one zero zero three three is not greater than four so we can't use this two so we're going to use the 2 and the 1. So it's going to be 0, 0, 1, 1. The 4, it's not greater than 4. So we're going to use the 4. 
So it's 0, 1, 0, 0. And 8 is greater than, greater than 4. So we can use that 2 first. And then we can use the 4 and the 2. And we're going to get that. And we're going to write 2, 4, 2, 1, B, C, D. So that's it there. So again, just to re-emphasize it, we say if I had the number 5, all right, 2, 4, 2, 1. And I'm going to write it here again, 2, 4, 2, 1. All right. Now, again, there's two ways of doing it. You say to yourself, okay, um, I could, I could say for 5, could choose the the two, the two, and the one. All right, so I could use that for five, or I could use zero one zero one. Now, which one is correct? So the rule says for numbers greater than four, so I have to use this two. So this one is definitely wrong, and this one is correct. So just another small illustration of how it works. So numbers greater than four, I have to use the first two. All right, I hope that helps.